Oh, oh, morning everybody, Wolfie here. Um, as you can see, I got a new trailer. Um, <laughs> it's been a lot. <laughs> Alex, get your butt out of the way. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Um, thanks to John and that many of you have seen a few times here on the channel. Him and I think he said it's his sister's boyfriend, Craig. Craig had this already partially built. So I kind of bonused. Um, I was talking to John about building a log arch for hauling logs. Both for firewood and for me to play with with the sawmill and he mentioned um, wanting to look for some materials to his sister and then well Craig got a hold of them and just hey I already got one of them so now I've got one of them <laughs> and I'll show you what it looks like here we got a lot of wood cutting to do and yeah, I've had to add a couple things to it, like since it got delivered, but nothing too serious. Okay, I'll get the camera here and show you. Okay, so I'd like to introduce everyone to the goat. That's what John and Craig named it. The goat. The goat stands for goes over any terrain. That's what John tells me. But me and John have already talked about the fact that I may need to extend my the tongue about a probably about another foot. Which isn't a big job. This is my log arch. It's got a very heavy duty pulley system here with the hand crank winch on it. I got my chains, which I already had back here. I added these two eye bolts for the chains. And added my tool holder, just a piece of PVC pipe. But its first test is going to be uh, for me to haul a nice size log in to add to that pile. It'll just be a lot longer. I'm probably looking at something around the size of these things here. Yeah. Something around that size. But wood pile's not the important thing. This thing is. <laughs> Boy. I did have an issue. The one wheel uh, seized up on the way in. So it's not it's now fixed. I had to it took a fair bit of work, but I got the wheel off and got everything all cleaned up and got it work, rolling good. So hopefully this thing holds up and lasts. But yeah, this is the goat. My log arch. It's a little tall, but it's got tons of clearance. When the guys were putting it together, they made sure I had a lot of clearance. Sits on a, about the angle it's on now, when it's hooked up to Little Red. 
and we're kind of hoping by extending the tongue we can get it to sit a little more upright it's not too bad though it's like it's not like it's a drastic horrible angle this work I can work with that easy so yes I'd like to introduce everyone to the goat and we're going to be going out back the trail here a bit and me and Alex Straza <laughs> and we're gonna see what we can find for a tree to be the test for it okay so my test tree that's just from the branches and I've got four I don't know I guess they're about six six and a half seven feet long nice size maple logs on the butt end Time to go get the bike and the goat and see how it does. Okay, so here we are. We got little red. We got the goat. And we got some logs to pull. So we got to get stuff organized here for it. This chain off that goes over here. Oh, this is pain. There we go. Cut the small chain off. Yeah, I'm not sure what all I'm gonna need to hook up here, but the idea is first we take this off. So we can turn the handle. We'll put that on the bike here. Something else to make some noise. <laughs> Better get this little chain out of the way. Maybe. <laughs> well, yes, it's staying. <laughs> okay, so what we do is figure out how to, there we go so what we're going to do is we're going to lower this cable down I'm going to pause this while I get the cable out and we'll get this first log in place and then I'll set the camera up here and show you how this thing works Okay, not the most perfect idea for the camera angle here. The camera's on tilt. Okay, so we got the cable out. Got our log in place underneath it. So what we do is take our cable. Wrap it around the log. Ow. Don't prick yourself on the steel cable there. <laughs> and we just cinch it like that. Now. Lots of cranking here. I got way too much cable out. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to need. So. Now, we got her all jacked up. Let's see, yep, camera angle's still good here. So, I think with a bigger bike, I'm going to be able to haul much nicer sized logs, like a lot bigger sized logs. But we take this extra chain, wrap it around. Uh. 
Let me hook her up. Now, you can lower the cable down. Keep it ten uh, some tension on the cable, but you let the weight down on this safety chain and I think we're pretty much ready to try out this first run unhook the camera off the back of the bike here for a minute this is our setup the supervisor is hard at work <laughs> So, yeah, so far so good here. It'll, it'll lift the log in place. This extra bar helps keep the log from being able to move forward towards the bike. So I'm going to get my saw and this extra chain and stuff all loaded up here. And we'll start, hopefully start moving. Now, something I want to point out, my bike is high and low range. Anybody that wants to do this, especially with a smaller bike like Little Red here, you definitely want to use low range. Low range, first gear, take your time. I've also added this nice little bar end rear view mirror here to the Little Red. So I can keep an eye on what's going on back here while I'm driving. So let's try this out here. Bundles the tops and top branches nice. We got all four big logs up. Got this load to go on the other wood pile. Kind of got a little designated log unloading place here. What I was doing is pull up like this and um, un crank, crank up the log so it's. Uh, the tensions off the chain and then I'd unhook the safety chains and then I'd just put that into freewheel and just let the log lower itself down to the ground. Unhook the cable and then all I gotta do is pull the bike forward, roll the log over into place. So this seems to work perfect. I may have to do some brushing out here, get this area all cleared out, and make this a permanent unloading area for hauling logs up here. But that made the whole job so much easier. This is great. I absolutely love this log arch. My goat. And it does it actually does pretty much what the name suggests too. It goes over anything or any terrain. <laughs> I just hauled it through some pretty nasty brush to be able to pull in to load these logs and for my turnaround spots and stuff. But anyway, there we have it. The introduction of the goat. And the stuff that it hauled up here, and they're pretty decent sized logs. At some point, I'm going to try it out with some longer ones, a little bit bigger, but maybe not with Little Red. I also lost my tripod somewhere in the 
process here. Had it stuck in the little cage around my headlight. And it, yeah, it ain't there now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> I probably ran it over and crushed it. But anyway, there we go, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's not anything amazing or fancy, but I find this thing pretty amazing. So, oh, work just got a lot easier when it comes to hauling logs. <laughs>